Hello and welcome to Easy Drupal. This is the third part of our uh, series investigating the Drupal JSON API. Um, in the previous episode, we looked at creating some filters uh, to restrict our content. And I said that we would look at grouping those filters together uh, once I'd learned how to do it. Now, obviously I'm learning this as I go along. So if I get anything wrong, apologies for that. Uh, there will be a few mistakes, but we'll see what we can do. Okay, so I've been investigating how we do more than one filter and how we group those filters together. So let's have a look at my data. If you remember, I have set up a test site, which is basically some, some commercial vehicles that were built by my family business over the years. I'll just show you that site quickly. Yes, so this is the site that I'm talking about. Basically, it's a, a sort of um, an archive of a load of vehicles that were built by the family business uh, back in the early 20th century. I use it as a demo because it's it's quite a good good thing. We have a whole list of vehicles, a photo and a description. That's all we've got. So that's the data we'll be looking at. Let's get back to Postman and I'll show you. Our standard query looks at nodes or entities of type node and node of type vehicle, which is our content type in Drupal. If we send that query, we will get back a group of results. We only get 50 because the API by um, default just returns 50 and then you have to paginate through it if you need more. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that at this stage. And I'm just, I can't find a count on this uh, postman. It doesn't actually count the records. I'm not quite sure uh, what the reason for that is, probably because of the nesting. So what I do is just search for something that I know is a unique field or a new, unique string to each node. So I've got 50 nodes when I search for node dash dash vehicle. So this is my data for each vehicle uh, up to 50. So the filters that I've decided to set up, I tried to come up with some sort of scenario that makes a bit of sense. So what I thought I'd do is look for those nodes that are promoted to the front page and that have a vehicle registration number that is null, just as a way of sort of updating things. So we don't want the stuff on our front page that's uh, lacking in content. So that was the idea. Bit of a naff one, but that's all I could come up with. Okay, so the first filter we've got, if you remember, each filter has to be, has to have a name. In this case, it's called promoted and it has to have a type. This type, this type is condition. And then the condition has a path. In this case, that is promote and promote is the field that it will be looking for here which will be true or false, that actually evaluates to one or zero. So if we turn that on and then the same filter, so it's named promoted also, the condition and the operator, in this case it's equals, and then the value for that condition, which is one. So we're looking for all nodes that have a promote field that is valued at one. So if we send that, we'll run that query we should get 20. Now I know there's 20 because I created 20 or I published or promoted 20 to the front page. So that bit works. Now, if we were to add another query, this time we're looking for registration number field, which is here somewhere, this one here. And we're looking for those registration numbers that are null. Now, because it is null, you don't need a value. So we just need these two parts of the filter. Again, it's got its own name. It has to be different from this one. Otherwise, it'll uh, overwrite it. And we've called this one reg. We've got a path, which is field registration number, and an operator, which is is null. Now, if we run that query, we will get 12 records. So this has carried out an AND operation. By default, it does an AND. So it's saying, Give me any records that have got a promote equals one and a null field registration number. And that gives us 12 records. Okay. If we were to turn off our promoted filter and just do the field registration number is null and send that, that will give us 50 records, which is our maximum we're returning. Let's group these two together then. So to group the fields, you again need to create a named group or a filter with a name. I've called this one vehicle group. So you'll see here, I've got a name of vehicle group. I've got a type, which is group. This group is a conjunction group. So we'll use it for and and or. Okay, so we can turn that one on. It won't do anything yet because we haven't got any members of that group. 
I'm not sure if that would run. Let's just try it. Probably will run. Oh no, it doesn't like that. We have to actually, if we're going to give it a group, we've got to actually give it some members. So the way to assign filters to a group is to use their name. Um, in this case, we'll do filter promoted condition, which is the type, and then a member of, and we're giving it a member of vehicle group. So we can turn that one on. That group will now work. So it's a group called vehicle group. It's got one member, which is promoted, this one here. Uh, obviously that's not gonna give you any different records because it's, it's effectively saying exactly the same as whether we had the group or not. So let's add our second filter to the group. Our filter name is Reg. It's a conditional group and it is now a member of vehicle group. So we've got two groups in there. At the moment, I've got this as an and. So that is the same as not having the group. So if we do that, we should again get our 12 records, which we do down here. And basically we're saying, give me all the records that I've have promote equals one and a registration number that is null and being the operative word there. So let's just quickly check our data. We should have 12 records that have promote equals true and registration number that is null. So let's have a little look at one. So this one here, first one promote equals true and it has a registration number and it has a registration number that is null. Let's look at the next one, promote equals true and registration number that equals null. Okay, so that's working. Let's just try it as an or. Now that should give us 50 records because it's giving us everything that has promote equals one and also everything that's got a registration that equals null or that is null. So let's check a few of those. Probably need to go down a bit because the first 20 I think are going to all have promote equals true. Okay, here's one that has promote equals false. So I'm this if our filter is working correctly, it should have a registration number that is null. There we go. Let's check a few more, go down a bit further. Okay, so any vehicles with, with a registration number. Okay, here's one with a registration number. So that isn't null, so it must be true on the remote. And it is. Okay, that's working. So just as an experiment, let's change registration to is not null and run that query. Uh, that gives me 50 records. That will give me quite a few records because there's a lot of vehicles that have got registration numbers. Bearing in mind that the data set that we're looking for is outside of the 50. There's more than 50 records, but we're just only showing 50. So everything here should have a registration number. I say that this is an OR query. So because we're doing an OR query, it could everything here will either have a registration number or the promote flag. If we turn that into an AND, that should hopefully reduce our record set. We've got eight vehicles that have both promote and a registration number. So that one actually has got a, it's got a registration number value unknown, which I must have put in there. Let's have a look at another one. So this is promote is true and registration number MA500. Okay, so that is definitely working. It's quite difficult to actually, actually explain it, but hopefully that gives you an idea of how it all works. In the next video, We'll probably try and do some nested filter groups uh, once again, once I've worked out how, how it works. Any comments or anything like that, let me know below and I'll try and help. Thanks very much for watching. See you on the next one.